Hi guys, English man in Malta here. Quick video, Brickacarda train station. It's not used anymore. The uh, station finished a long time ago, but it dates back to 1800s. Uh, they made it into a park, but I'll tell you what they've got here is an old carriage back to the 1800. They've restored it. They put it into a glass uh, sort of cage. We're gonna have a look at it, but I'll show you what it looks like uh, now and what it looked like from before. It's the only surviving one in Malta. So it doesn't have any wheels. It was really vandalized for about 30 years. It was left in this park and people just abused it like they did a lot of things in the past in Malta. But now they're realizing that there's some interest in these sort of things. We're in the center here, Silas Street, just here. Uh, the actual train ran down here, I think, if I'm not mistaken. We can go to the center here, uh, Brikakara. And this is the old bus terminus, Brikakara bus terminus. This is the main doors now going into the station. Uh, they're going to do some kind of event. I think it's coming on. Uh, I'm not sure if it's today or tomorrow. This was the railway tracks coming in from here, going to the main station. You can see the theme of this place is all to do with uh, trains. There's a uh, lot of little parks for kids. And even the caterers have made it into sort of carriageways. I'm not sure what, when it's going to be on this. They've got a lot of... There's, in the summer, Malta, they do a lot of these things. Band and some music. There's the main gate coming out of Psyla Street. You can see the building work. In the old days, it was just fields up to here. Now it's either side. There's still some old chapels. On, uh, there's one of the oldest churches in Brikakara, just over the back there. One day we'll visit it. You can see here like they're uh, doing a lot of things for kids. We're coming up to the station here. This is the old Brikakara station. Uh, the railway dates back to the 1800s. There's a lovely church just over the back there. Here's the carriage. It's going to be a bit hard to see inside because they don't keep the glass clean. The railway started around the 1883. This carriage was a third-class carriage. In fact, they even had a first-class carriage. They had first-class. I, when I first saw it, I thought, my, did, did they have a railway in Malta? Because it's short distances, but it used to come from, um, uh, let's go up this way, this is going on the, on the railway. It used to come from up the top there of Nimdina into Valletta. Uh, in fact, some of my videos you've seen, we've hit on the tunnels and the little bits and pieces. Um, here's this glass, they seem to be doing something to the roof there. There's some, you can see a little bit from here. It would be better if the glass was a bit cleaner. Here's the station, first class, and third class over there. Let's go into first class, eh? Everything's locked up. I mean, look how nice it is here. They did it up quite well. It's been neglected this park for years, though. Look how nice it is, eh? Turned into a park here. Some nice old buildings around here, Brikakara. Brikakara is the most populated in Malta. If we went down some of the small streets, you'd be surprised how close people live together. Here's the first class. Station guard here. Brikakara station. And the third class over here. Another park for the kids here. This is the... Uh, if we can see through it, but I've got a better picture than this. You can see the carriage. It was really abused, this carriage. 30 years they just left it here in the in the all weathers and obviously kids got in it and the uh, all the chairs were stolen in fact they found some chairs now there there were these fold-up chairs so if you went one direction you could change the direction of the uh, of the seats i saw one in the uh, i'm not sure there's a there's a website look you just go on facebook and uh, put in uh, trains of malta there's a great guy that's running it if i think about it i'll put the link below they put it on the cover now anyway, so you can see the glass is a bit dusty. In mortar in the summer, the dust is unbelievable. They seem to be doing some work on the roof here. Nice trees, nice shaded area. 
This is from the 1800s, this train. Can we make it out? The glass might be reflecting a bit. Well, what I'll do is, um, I've got some better photographs, so I'll put the... They've got an old photograph of what it looked like in the old days, so with the, it's missing the wheels. They did like a nice uh, section here as if it was in the train. Uh, you can have a nice walk around here, sit some nice chairs. Yeah, the council did it up quite nice here. Uh, this is the back entrance. You can see some of the evidence of buildings, the train buildings. Uh, the other one was entrances over there, uh, Silas Street. And this is, uh, I'm not sure what street this comes down, almost by McDonald's, I think. Very close to McDonald's. Down at the bottom here, just turn left. Beautiful old church here. Yeah. And we can have a quick look at the church. We can probably build, let me show you. You can uh, freeze if you want. I'll do it in English, let me sit, get him in focus. That's English and Maltese. But well, I'll put as much information as I can. Zoom in a bit if you want. Uh, 1883 to 1931, the railway uh, from Valletta to Mtafa, up by Rabat, passing by various locations. The Kikara was indeed only the civil purpose for the military ones. So as Mtafa, was various British military installations. So the railway had a single track. Brickacar station was important as a double track to allow passing trains from opposite direction. So this area, when they were coming down and going up, they actually changed, this was a double track here, the only part of double track in Malta, so they could obviously cross over. Um, it was when it was discontinued, the government services as a public garden and later uh, for some years, 1994 is setting up the local council and the station. It's all there anyway, if you want to read about it. So that's interesting. I came across that. This is, that's why it's quite wide. It was a double track. All the rest of the part of Malta was single track going up to Mtafa and going uh, to Valletta. So here they passed over when they were coming. Um, what's interesting is they had the first and the third class, uh, but I don't see anything about second class. Second class on the roof, probably. Let's walk around the corner while we're here. There's a lovely old church. Uh, as usual, churches in Malta are not open until about four o'clock, so we're not going to get inside. Ooh, parking is atrocious in Brikakara. There's no space at all. Have we got some information? We'll have a walk around inside. I'm just doing this in my break, so I'm a bit short on time. And look at the sun, <laughs> scorching hot. This is an old parish church going back to the 1600s. There, yeah, you can read about this. Someone told me if this is the same church, uh, when they were kids, they used to come to this church. Oh, it's locked up now, it was open earlier. Perhaps somebody went inside, I don't know. As I say, most of them don't open until four. Uh, if it's right, this church didn't have any roof. And part of it, they put a lean-to roof on it. And they still used to do the mass here. And I remember, she said, remember when she was kids, they used to still come here and do the mass with the lean-over roof. And then later over the years, uh, obviously they put a roof on, put a steeple. Here's the church here. The 1600s is taking back. Look at the uh, work at the top there. Fantastic work in water on the churches. 
have one look at the door because I didn't uh, see it from the front. Uh, what we'll do is go back in the station and we'll go out from the other door because that's where the cars park from Styler Street. I wanted to show you from this back entrance though that was quite interesting how wide it was. Oh wow, look at this. Let's go back a bit. Some fantastic work there. And the shields on the top. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Uh, beautiful window at the top here. And look at the work on the top end. There's no statues in these windows. There's supposed to be statues, but... Maybe this one... This is not the main church of Vrikokara, Santalina. One day we'll do that, we'll do the festa. Uh, here's the old... St. Thomas Dingley. There's the name of it. But look how, look how uh, fancy the work is. Especially the steeple. The steeple's got some really nice work on the very top there. And that work on the, around the edges. Okay, let's go back in the station. Uh, we'll go out from Presidio Street. I'll show you a little bit, a walk through. Um, and that's about it, I think. Uh, here it is very quiet. Here is a modern part of Brikakara. Uh, one day what we do is go in the old part of Brikakara. It's really interesting and there's some great people down there. One time I'll walk through and they invite you in for, for something and that. Anyway, let's go back into the station. Here is a nice church going in here, like uh, one of the oldest churches. You can go through this gateway. Brikakara just down here, the main, the main centre. Uh, you can go right down. Now they've changed Brikakara a lot. But still, it's very, very populated. Let's have a walk down here. Beautiful trees, some old trees around this area. Um, the trees, they didn't change it. But all these play centres they did for the kids. coffee center here. Um, I think this is here permanent. See how it's made, made it to look like from the train station, the shape and everything. So that's quite interesting. <laughs> okay guys, I walk around the Brikakara train station. Let's get out of the sun so you better see me better, get into shade. Uh, I missed out on Sunday's video, the camera. Somebody took it away and they said they were going to repair it, but it came back the same. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Anyway, guys, I hope you see me okay, because I'm holding it in my hand. Thanks a lot. I uh, hope you enjoyed the quick video, Brikakara train station. I'll put some more information in if I find some uh, bits and pieces. I'll put it at the end. Thanks a lot. See you soon, English Man in Water. Don't forget to share. Ring the bell and subscribe, please. See you soon. English Money Malta. Englishman from Malta. And I will show you all the signs. So please subscribe to my channel. And give me lots of likes.